All right, guys, I'm on my way to the farm right now. I have a surprise for everybody. We have another dog, a new dog. His name is Max, short for Duramax. He's in the back. You might be able to see his ears through the reverb over There he is. I got a strap. I helped strap him down a little bit, but he's a good dog just staying in the back. Nice and calm. I don't have a kennel for him, but he, he wanted to go in the tailgate. He literally, I opened the door for him and he ran to the tailgate, jumped over the bed while the tailgate was closed and jumped in the back. So I don't know if he's used to being in the back but we have a buddy for diesel this is duramax we'll, we'll probably always call him Mac. but for all those chevy duramax fans that's what we named the dog duramax and then he's gonna meet diesel our farm dog we got like three four five days ago i, I think it's actually six days for ago from today so that's exciting we had like no farm dogs now we have two and i gave them hopefully you guys really enjoy their name diesel and duramax so i'm heading back to the farm now don't have too much planned for today but some of the grass is getting long enough that i'm thinking about bailing it we'll just see so and i quickly want to mention guys and a quick little shout out to storm productions i'm gonna throw a link in the description where you can get high-end dedicated vps hosting servers if you click the link I can get you 15% off for the first three months with the code Spencer15. Check that out. All the information will be in the link. Now, these servers are a little more high-end. They are a lot more high-end than G Portal. There's a lot more storage, but it is not as user-friendly. So uh, I'll have a link to the website. I'll have a link to the Discord where you can receive customer service and stuff. So it's not as easy as G Portal. There is kind of a learning curve with it that comes with it, but very, very high-end servers. Just check the link out in the description. Oh, did you see? I got a new dog for us. Another farm dog. God, guess what I named him? What? It's, it, it's long for Max. Can you guess? So it's long for Max. So Max is the short version or the nick. Uh, Maxwell? Duramax. Duramax is his name. Do you like it? Mm. So you don't like Duramax? No. We're driving both four. I know we're driving power strokes, man, but I what was I going to name the dog? Power... Max, you know, I, power, but no, that's not a good dog name. That way we can call him Max. If you don't want to call him Derek Max, call him Max. Call He's got him them Max. both down. But you got the setup ready? You ready to mow? Nope. Okay, so we got the 6R. It's the 6130 engine type. We have the PTO on the front for when snow comes. It's four wheel drive. Super clean, super, it's brand new. Then we got the 15 foot bat wing. So hopefully uh, I'll probably have bolt run this and then I'm going to run the other, uh, the other mower. And we'll go from there. We're, what we're going to do is mow it really quick. And then we will, uh, then I'll we'll tether it and wind roll it. Is there a lot of baler over there? Oh, yeah. Oh, we do have a baler. Perfect. Nice. Good call. All right. We found a baler. All right. Let's get mowing. All right, guys. We'll get going here. I'm hooked up in the 4440. Beautiful, beautiful setup. It just looks so good. I got the bale spike. So once we got the bales made, we'll be locked and loaded. Oh, geez. He scared me, man. What, what do you want? Um, where are we pulled to? Go mow. Oh, you just follow me. I'll show you. I'll show you. All right, guys. Today we're doing something really fun and we're giving back to the community at the same time. So I'm heading down to the church where I go every Sunday morning, but it's not for church. We are, we're mowing a field. So it's been a field that's been like unmaintained for a grass field. I should, I should explain. It's a grass field that's been unmaintained and we are going to mow it. We are not ready at any of our fields right now to be mowing so it'll be it, it's like perfect timing we'll, we're gonna head down there and we will uh we will mow at the church and they want to turn it into a soccer field so i brought the 15 footer and then bolt has the 6r that's also 15 footer so i'm going down the road right now i got my hazards on all right now i got my hazards on probably should have had those on before but we're gonna try and get back to the church we're gonna do this for free but we i mean in 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 they're going to give us the, uh, we're going to turn it into hay. I got the tether, the baler, the wind rower down, and we got two mowers. So I think we're set. We will just need to, uh, we'll, we'll need to somehow come back in a truck and then bring the, bring the gooseneck trailer, the 40 foot to load up the bales. But that's in a while. Let's forget about it. Let's get mowing. I think the 40 for 40 is turning into one of my favorite tractors. It's so, it's so good. It's so clean. There's so many nice things about it. I love the exhaust. It's realistic when I step on the throttle or not step on it. But when I when I give it some throttle, you can actually see a change when I turn on the PTO shaft of the mower. You can see a change in the amount of uh, the amount of smoke coming out. So I really love that. And it's just a super clean mod. So we're going to pull off here and I think bolts already tearing it up. But this is what's going to be. It's like a recreational soccer field just for uh, just for the church. So I'm going to see. Oh, I, okay. This ditch is really steep. I'm going to, how did Bolt get in there? I think he actually went to the church, but I'm not going to waste my time. That ditch is, isn't half as steep as anything else. So 
I think Bolt's waiting for me or trying to figure out like what I'm doing. He's just staring at me like a buffoon. Bolt, you ready to go? Yep. You could have went in a less deep area. Uh, though. Where's less deep? I thought this was like, this right wasn't here. too bad. Where are you right at? On. Yeah, that, that was probably a good idea. Here. But yeah, that, that's a really good idea. Anyway, let's start mowing. And then once we're done mowing, we'll start bailing. Or we're going to tether and then win row and get it all going. So Yep, I have it all parked up at the church. Okay, perfect. Looks good, man. Let's get her done. There goes Bolt looking good. I'm going to follow right behind him. But I I, I have two 15-footers just because when we get into the peak of uh, of like bailing season and when all of our fields come ready to bail. Now, th this field isn't that tall. When you actually get down, it's, may it, it's, it's not a super thick field. But hey, it's super early season. It's it's like late spring. I think summer is in a few, uh, like a few few weeks away. No, it, it's or maybe it is summertime. I'm, I'm losing track of things, but uh, yeah, we this is good hay that we're gonna make. It's not a lot, as you can tell. It's not yielding too much, but the the church asked me to do it for them, and we're gonna give back. So this is gonna turn out really good. And I wanted to get out in the fields doing something. We didn't have a lot of a lot of work to do anyway, besides just a few maintenance things on uh, on the razor already and the boat. But let's get out here and get some hay. The mowers are cut and clean. I'm running on the other side, and then Bolt is just running up and down. So we're gonna be able to finish this pretty quick, and and, and it'll be happy. Now again, it's not that much that we're actually cutting, so. It's not the best, but like I said, it's what we can get our hands on. We can make a few bales out of it and, and you know, we're getting back to the church. So the church is really small here in town, but I don't, not a lot of people live here or around here that go to this church. So it'll be cool to see that they have this field and I can come down here and we can, you know, maybe we can make a little pickup football game or who knows what we can do out here, but we can have some fun. So these mowers are cutting really clean. Like I said, just sharpen the blades. Everything is is up to maintenance and really good. So once I make this lap, I'm going to join Bolt and we will start literally knocking this field out so quick. I'm happy that we got two and it's a lot cheaper than getting like a really big industrial size mower. And these are fairly easy to maintenance. Not a lot going on, but things can still happen. Now, one thing that's for sure is it's been a while since we mowed just on this channel so if you guys do enjoy mowing videos now there's a difference in my mowing i, I am mowing agricultural agricultural mowing or like re, uh residential slash commercial when i do it for a business so those are always fun too let me know what you guys like best do you like me mowing when we're when we're actually farming for the farm like what's cooler to watch i guess is the question and like what's more interesting to watch for me i think it's a little it's a little more interesting just in my opinion, when we do it like commercially and we have zero turns running around residentials and in commercial properties and in mowing for a business, that's pretty fun. And I always dreamed of doing it when I was uh, when I was younger, but I probably most likely won't. But it, it always kind of seemed fun. So I'm going to run a little time lapse here, guys. I'm going to speed it up a lot. So hopefully you enjoy and we'll be just about done mowing. Okay, so we're about halfway done with the field. Everything's gone really smooth, and it's been a lot of fun, too. Uh, it is it is smaller grass. I've already said that, but it, it doesn't make it as fun. It's really interesting when it's big, thick grass, but we are able to fly a lot more. That is that is uh, really noticeable. So Bolt and I are just, I don't know what he's doing. We, we are missing a little bit. I'm trying to get used to, uh, used to these mowers, of course. Oh, wait, where, where is he going? He better be going straight. Um... But yeah, we're missing a little bit. You might see that here and there, a few patches that we miss. But I'll, what I'll say is, I'll say mostly it's bold now. It, it's mostly me, but I, like I said, I'm, I'm getting used to the mower and how it turns. That's probably the biggest thing is just getting used to the, like the turning mechanism of it and all that. So things are going good. And yeah, see, like we missed that whole entire strip there. I try and pay attention behind me, but it's not once, once you miss a strip, it's kind of 
kind of tough all right guys we got done mowing <laughs> they're a little dirty we'll have to clean them off when we get back but this has been a really fun project bolt and i were just talking about it like that was a really fun field we were able to make really nice turns and it, it was smooth the way kind of we set it up so we're gonna try and do that in the future i'm gonna try and uh, tether it here real quick bolt will be behind in the wind row and then we'll bail it up and i'll follow with uh I'll probably have to have somebody come bring down. Uh, we'll probably use Bolt's truck that he's borrowing from his friend just because I don't want to use mine, which is kind of bad of me. Uh, and then we'll use that to uh, to stack the bales on. We honestly might use this. I do have straps on this. We could use our low loader tilt deck. That would probably work just fine, but we'll kind of see. All right, guys, we're making bales. Things are going good, so we're going to keep going here. And the 6R is pulling the baler quite a bit better than I thought. And we actually have the wind rower on, on the 4440. Now, it's a big wind rower, but it seems to be kind of working. Ba uh, Bolt says it's pulling it just fine. I mean, essentially, a wind rower is just... I know it's kind of hitting the ground, but it's not like it's not like it's a plow digging in the ground and you're pulling it through the ground. It, it's scratching the grass, essentially, is, is kind of what it is. So, I'm going to fall right behind him. The birds are eating good. I, I guess I don't know what they're eating, but... Hopefully he doesn't stop. I, I think I'm actually going quicker than he is. Better slow it down. But, you know, the birds are swooping all around us. I don't know. I think we might have ran over some of their nests. But the field looks really, really good. I like it. It's clean. It looks, yeah, it looks really, really nice. So, we are going to, uh, we're going to continue bailing these bad boys up. It's been a lot of fun. And we will, yeah, we'll bail it up. And then we got to load pretty much everything back on the load loader. And then we'll drive whatever we can drive back. I'm going to actually wait here real quick, let him uh, get a little lead on me, then I'll get going again. So I let Bolt get a lead, and we are, what, he's like four rows in front of me, but I, I wonder if I'll catch him by the end of it. But the coon is doing really good. I really like this baler, and we will uh, we'll have the 4440 load all these bales, too. It's not many bales, but like I said, it's going to... It's gonna for sure we're gonna put them in our barn and we'll, we'll it'll be a good start and a good first time getting the tractors out in the field and actually getting some work done because i mean we've planted and stuff but i don't know we haven't really produced anything we've only like spent money so at least today we, we've done kind of something but those 15 foot bat wings really like it's not it's kind of like a bush hog but it's uh it is pretty clean too the pretty clean cut in the field for sure obviously they have to still like come in mow it make it make it good there it's patchy and it's not like a proper finishing mower but it, it does look really really nice and uh and they did good so hopefully they, they turned this into something special they said a soccer field and then like another little kid soccer field and then volleyball courts like somewhere along there because this is plenty of big enough field for all that this is way bigger than a soccer field and then obviously like volleyball is a great sport to have for a church so I was like, yeah, that's a great idea. So I'll probably honestly be one of the first ones to use it too. After church or something, we'll play a little game of soccer maybe if we have time. But these bales will be good eating for our cows. Now, like we don't have any cows. The kind of the plan for the farm right now is get everything produced, get food for them. Uh, we'll, we'll have silage fermenting and then we'll start to bring in some cows. We'll buy some calves, start raising them and, uh, and, and we'll kind of go from there and start our cattle farm. So things will should be going good and i will see you guys once we get done with this all right guys a uh, quick little uh zoom into time a little fast forward we are done with the field got it all bailed now the bales are sitting out ready for us to collect so i got the 44 the 44 40 with the bale spikes and then bolt's gonna be running the uh he's gonna be running the power stroke with the big techs and we will be just strapping going and it should be a good team i think so if bull can drive good and i can load bales good this should take no time i'll try and stack them too high and we'll probably almost fill the trailer i don't think i don't think we will so let's get to it it'll be a lot of fun the 4440 is great and uh the bale spikes work really really good so i think that's it unless there's any in the corner i i don't think there is now I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a pro at stacking bales. I'm not bad. I've had quite a bit of practice, and you, but not like the uh, if you've seen the farming simulator competitions, those guys are insane. I like watching those videos where they compete. If you've heard of it, there's farming simulator tournaments, and uh, and it's they stack the bales like really fast. It's pretty cool, but I've never been really interested too interested in that. Much rather just play the game than uh, like compete at it, but. Uh, but it's pretty interesting and I tried out that little 
competition league a few times, but not the league itself, but just try it out how it all worked. The plan is, is just to take two at a time. Real nice and easy. I wonder if it would be a lot easier on the Xbox controller, but I probably not right away. I'm pretty used to the controller. Perfect. There we go. Go ahead, pull up there. I'll knock out two more. So I, right now I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, ten. Okay, so we will. I'm, I think we're going to fill that trailer up. I might need to go three high, but we'll just have to see kind of how it plays out. I'm going to try and do first person here. I don't think this is going to be tough, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I'm going to try and do first person. It's just the, all the little angles that make it work. I, I just can't. Okay, we got it. We got it spiked. I just can't see those. We'll try and get it. But I can kind of guess. It just won't be... Ooh, that isn't bad. We'll stop till... I think that's it. Alright, there we go. I was a little off. Oh, nice. Okay, that was... Wasn't too bad. But just sometimes the angle of the forks, I really... I can't see it that good. But we'll go back to third person too. So, the field turned out really good. It's super clean. It doesn't even... Oh, these are right next to each other. It doesn't even seem like they'll need to do that much work as the uh, as the church to get it, like, field ready. And so I think they're going to be... I didn't think it would look this good when we're done mowing. But it, it's really... Uh, it's really green grass. We mowed it. Oh, no. First mess up of the day. We mowed it, and it got even greener, which is pretty interesting. So what's nice about the Big Tex is it does have ramps on the end, but honestly, I can, I can stack these on the ramps. I won't... I won't really need the ramps so it'll be uh it'll be extra good can i see if i no i'll stack it on top i was gonna say is there a way bolt's been really good at driving usually bolt isn't the good driver now i know the bad driver is cj but bolt usually isn't exceptionally well but right now he's he's like killing it so it makes it really easy for me to stack bales when he literally pulls up perfectly like on the money there we go perfect that wasn't perfect, but it'll work. This is bail number, if I can count. I think this is number, was that eight? This is number 12. So we got 12 bales on there. I can see two. But we will be, we're, we're cooking good looking. We'll have oh, possibly 14. There could be another one hiding from me that I just can't see right now. But I think we'll just have 12. So, or sorry, excuse me, 14. That's a lot more than I thought. Especially because when we were mowing, it wasn't like yielding a lot. So when we actually get our field that we fertilize properly and we <clears throat> we planted really good seed. This is just a random grass field um, or hay field that we that we that we mowed here. It wasn't anything special. It wasn't fertilized. It wasn't you know uh, made sure that it, again it was just it was just a wild field. So sometimes those are good, but uh, the field that we get should be able to produce a lot bigger swaths. So when we come in, the bales uh, are made a lot quicker. There we go. And last bail, and we'll get on our way. We got to still get the equipment back to the farm. But our job here is done. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. I really appreciate it. Again, check out the link in the description for those servers. They are a lot higher end, take a lot more work. And I only recommend them to people who are, like, skilled with their computer and kind of know uh, a little bit about them before I even kind of told you. If that makes sense. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. And I'll see you all in the next one.